Imagine a future without underwear. <laughs> okay, now imagine a future without textiles. What would you be wearing? Maybe your favorite purple plastic poncho? Or your Sunday best leather dress? Fortunately, textiles have been a part of civilization for millennia. We enjoy their comforts, their protection, and their familiarity. But why textiles? Why not something else? Simply put, they're the best material for the job. How they feel, how they drape, how they pack and deploy, their span and weight, their strength and stretch, are all reasons we make our clothes out of textiles. And also why we use them to carefully land rovers on Mars, to tether floating offshore wind platforms to the ocean's floor, and to even replace damaged valves in our hearts. But what's the magic behind these materials? What makes them work? They mimic structures found in nature. Their fibers, filaments, and yarns can all move relative to each other. Their pores help manage moisture and heat. They can change shape without being damaged. And they're held together almost entirely by friction. These understated attributes are why textiles are a fundamental technology in our lives. But in the digital age, we find ourselves demanding more from our things. And our things, in turn, demanding more from us. So what more should we ask of our textiles? Now imagine a future where haptic interfaces are knit into our clothes, extending our digital experiences into the physical world. Where physiological sensors are transparently woven into the fabrics of our homes. Where soft robots and exoskeletons safely support our daily duties. Where stitched sensor arrays monitor our structures and their environments. And our garments can augment and extend our senses. Now, this future is not going to require bedazzled devices or complicated patterns or stuffy adornments. But rather, to make these technologies useful and accessible to everyone, we need to build them with respect for both how and why textiles are made the way they are today. And that with an understanding of the manufacturing technologies that have enabled their ubiquity. My team and I develop novel materials and methods that sit at the intersection of traditional textiles and electronics. Using specialized design and manufacturing tools, we distribute discrete electronic devices, interconnecting and networking them together using conductive yarns that are the size of a human hair to build textile integrated systems that look, feel, and function like the fabrics we all know today. So now imagine a future with underwear, where our technologies disappear into the backgrounds of our lives, and our textiles seamlessly connect us to a complex digital world so that we can focus our attention on what matters most. Thank you. <laughs>